Hello everyone. Welcome to Tells Visionary. Today October 12th, our word of the day is Opsimuth. O-P-S-I-M-A-T-H. Opsimuth. Opsimuth is an eight-letter word and a noun. Remember, a noun refers to a thing, a person, an animal, a place, a quality, an idea, or an action. An opsimuth is a person who begins, or continues, to study or learn late in life. The word is derived from the Greek ops, meaning late, and manthon, meaning learn. Opsimuthy was once frowned upon, used as a put-down with implications of laziness, and considered less effective by educators than early learning. The emergence of opsimuth clubs has demonstrated that opsimuthy has shed much of this negative connotation. Notable opsimuths include 19th-century army officer and orientalist Sir Henry Rawlinson, Grandma Moses, Rabbi Akiva, according to the Talmud he began studying at age 40, and Cato the Elder, who learned Greek only at the age of 80. Similar words include, mature student, late learner, older student, late bloomer. Examples of sentences using opsimuth are, some colleges enroll opsimaths who partake in studies but don't take any final exams. The opsimath surprised the young students when he joined them in the lecture room as a student. He was seen as an opsimath because he continued to study even though he was over 50 years old. I've known opsimaths who have learnt new languages well into their 70s and even 80s. Mercedes is the best example of a language opsimuth. Opsimuths can be referred to as mature students. Make sure to save this new word, opsimuth, so you can practice using it in your everyday sentences. That's all for today, thank you for spending your time with me. I hope you learned something new. Don't forget to like and share this video, subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you receive similar videos every day. Have a fulfilling day. See you tomorrow. Cheers.